For my project, I visited San Juan Capistrano. I traveled down on a Saturday with my friends, Mr. and Mrs. Edmondson. My brother Jake went too, and we took this photo in front of the mission next to the main courtyard. We stayed at the mission for two and a half hours touring and taking photos. I took all the photos in this presentation on an iPhone, and I used iMovie to prepare this presentation with my dad's help. There's 21 missions in California connected by El Camino Real. Missions go from San Diego de Acala in the south to San Francisco Solano in the north. My mission, San Juan Capistrano, is the second mission up from San Diego, as you can see on this map. San Juan Capistrano was built on October 31st, 1775. Right after it was built, Indians attacked the next mission south, San Luis Rey de Francia. So everyone in San Juan Capistrano fled. The mission was not reopened for another year until it was safe for the local Indians. This plaque in the plaza was made to remember the opening on All Saints Day in 1776. Father Juan Crespi built the mission with five main areas, the plaza, the patio, the cemetery, the post garden, and the chapel. The plaza is where the old church used to be. An earthquake on December 8, 1812 destroyed most of the old church. What you see here are the ruins that remain in the plaza. Now it's a quiet place where you can sit and look at the pretty flowers and pepper trees. In the middle of the plaza is a statue of a priest and an Indian boy. The statue pays tribute to the purpose of the missions, which was to teach Christianity to the Indian people of California. In the patio are beautiful flowers and trees with a large fountain in the middle. Around the edge of the patio are many doors you can go into and see lots of other interesting things like a, a kiln where they bake pastries, a milk turner where they use milk to make cheese, a canal from a nearby river, their irrigation system, their soldiers room, items they use in their daily lives, soldier uniforms, and craft tables. Outside the patio is a soldier's bell that they use to warn the people living outside the mission that Indians were attacking and get inside the walls now. In this cemetery are the graves of the early people that lived in the mission. This monument is to those who died building the mission. The priest garden leads into the chapel and its beautiful place with this fountain and lots of flowers. There is a small pond full of interesting fish and lily pads. This is a huge black fish that would practically eat the food from my hand. The chapel is shaped like a cross and the altar is made out of gold and silver. Inside there is also religious artwork and sculptures. The chapel was very quiet even though there were many people inside. Some were there worshiping and some were tourists. I had a fun time there with Mr. and Mrs. Edmondson. My brother Jake was exhausted and he slept the whole way out. The end.